This is Jim Rutgers, and I'm Eva Sinclair, and we're representing the Mosca Hooper Conservation District. We're here out at the Burns' place, um, interviewing them as they are the conservationists of the year in the farming division. This is Billy Burns and Sadie, his wife, Cody Burns and Kim Burns, his wife over there, and this is Kendra Burns and her two twins, <laughs> Cassidy and Caden. And Bill, you guys moved here from Oklahoma, and you've been natives here for just about, what, five years, six years? Can you tell us a little bit about your operation in Oklahoma? Um, I was raised on a dry land farm and ranch area, mostly cattle, horses, uh, mostly native pasture. We, we farm mostly for livestock feed. Uh, we fought wind erosion and water erosion. Some fields had river bottom land, low sand, plumb up up land, drought prone land. And we got up here and thought we knew how to farm sand. <laughs> so we're going to try it. So is that what brought you to the, to the valley? Uh, in, no a, in a roundabout way. In a roundabout way. Yes. Very good. Okay. Um, mentioned that this is a family farm, family operation. Can you yes. elaborate on that a little bit more, how your operation is run here in the San Luis Valley? Well, it, it's almost a one-man job, uh, one-person job. I just uh, been accused need to go get a real job, but I like farming and running the cattle. Cody's a full-time student. His wife works in the bank. His mother's a teacher, and his sister's a full-time student. And I have part-time help, and I'm about a half-time helper myself. So, but it's a family operation. Family operation. Very mm -hmm. good. Um, Cody, I sit with him on the Mosca Hooper Conservation District, and he's an avid believer in soil health and improving soil health. Cody, could you expand a little on that as far as what you're, some of the practices you're implementing to improve soil health? We use compost tea, we use compost, we plant mixed species cover crops. Uh, we work hard to plant a crop that doesn't consume a lot of water as we're a little bit short on water on this side of the valley. Not sure what else. So we use no till, minimum till. We're trying to eliminate herbicides and insecticides. Reduce commercial fertilizers, commercial inputs. Cody and Bill, what is some of your goals and objectives of this farm? I'd like to uh, maybe establish some more perennial legumes and perennial grasses that we could use for livestock, either bale forage or grazing forage. Uh, keep the sand from blowing, reduce water, uh, improve the soil health, and, and be able to put in a few less uh, purchased annual crops like the turnips and the radishes and annual ryegrass. I'd like to minimize some of those and go with some better perennials. Uh, you have a small ranch, some ranching operation, livestock. Uh, how does that enter into this operation? Uh, we're, we're mainly just a stalker background operator. Uh, we buy calves mostly in the fall and in the spring of the year, local high altitude cattle. So we reduce some health risk. Um, we grow them out to about 700 pounds and depending on the market, we'll either sell them or we'll retain ownership and put them in a feedlot. Cody, the field we're standing in, it hadn't been farmed for past five years before you guys bought it and moved here. Can you explain a little to us about what you did, that process, and what's currently planted in it, what mixes of... Um... We planted oats the first year just to try to harvest any kind of forage and stop the erosion. We've uh, harvested it twice, no-till planted vir virtually everything through that. Uh, we have planted Triticale, we tried to plant alfalfa grass. We had a herbicide issue that created our soil health initiative. And we have put on compost and other nutrients to try to neutralize that and increase our organic matter. We've now planted rye and vetch that we just hate off. And we plan to plant a seven way mix in here next. It will be Oats, peas, buckwheat, vernal alfalfa, hybrid turnip, 
uh, a fodder reddish and some annual ryegrass. We like the, uh, the live root in the soil all year long. We like having the soil covered all year. Like I say, we try to reduce the tillage. And we believe putting the livestock on the ground, we're seeing an improvement rather drastically. Well, I will say the, the hay in the field that you have standing now sure looks good. And hopefully we'll bring in a good market <laughs> and, and yeah. for you yeah. as well. We hope. Okay. Um, on behalf of the Conservation District, Jim and I would like to congratulate you, Billy and Cody and the family, um, for all your hard work and your conservation efforts. And we would like to thank you for letting us come out today. Thank you. And interview you and Thanks, learn more Bill. about your operation. Thanks, Bill. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Thank you.